The Smoky Mountains are one of our favorite areas to visit and camp in. There's actually mountains behind us and pretty soon they're gonna be full of oranges and golds and reds and beautiful, vibrant fall colors. Mm -hmm. Very soon, you can see some of them are already changing a little bit. But we wanted to share our favorite campgrounds and RV parks in this area because we've been to a lot of them because this area is famous for leaf peeping. <gasps> Beautiful the way the leaves die. Just a quick note, we have never been paid for any kind of RV park review. These are just our honest experiences and what we think about the different campgrounds that we visit. In case you're new to our channel, my name's Tara. This is my husband, Chad. We have been full-time RVing for about five years, up until about a year ago when we did buy a cabin in the Smokies because we love the area so much. We're gonna be talking about the Smoky Mountains. Some of you might say, that's not the Smoky Mountains. We know that the Smoky Mountains is a subset of the Blue Ridge Mountains, and the Blue Ridges are a subset of the Appalachian Mountains. Whew. Okay, the highest point in the Smoky Mountains is Clingman's Dome. It's the tallest mountain in Tennessee, which rises to an elevation of 6,643 feet. The highest peak in the Appalachian Mountains is Mount Mitchell. And we have a video on that, so be sure to check that out. Probably the campground that we've stayed at the most in the Smokies is the Great Outdoors RV Resort in Franklin, North Carolina. Primarily because your parents live in the Franklin area. Right, we grew really, really fond of it. In addition to this being an awesome area for RVing and camping and just vacations in general with the, the beautiful mountains, it's also an awesome place to ride motorcycles if you like the Kirby's like we do. Getting in and out of this RV park, because you know mountain RV parks can sometimes be a little bit, a little bit sketchy on the uh, the hills and stuff. But this one is a steep hill going in, but it's all paved, very wide. This place is easily navigable with a giant RV like ours, and it's tiered like a lot of them are. And we, of course, prefer the top tier; has the best views. In fact, if you want to get the best sight in the whole place, Site 66 is the bomb. We think it's the bomb. <laughs> it's because not only do you have great views, but you also have some privacy mm -hmm. because the front of your RV and your camping, um, what do you call it? Like just your like your, your camp area. Yeah. <laughs> um, it doesn't have anybody in front of it. It's mm -hmm. just trees and a hill. Mm -hmm. Very private. And in a large fifth wheel like ours, there were about a handful of spots that we would fit in easily with our truck also yeah, yeah yeah so make sure you give them a call if you are unsure if you would be able to fit into a site in addition to rv camping they do also have a few cabins so if you you know maybe go with somebody who doesn't have an rv they also have a place to stay or maybe you do and they're open year round Franklin, North Carolina is a great area, has a lot of restaurants, great shopping, lots of antiquing. It's very close to the Georgia border, so there's um, Dillard and Clayton are maybe only about 25, 30 minutes away, so that's great. And also, it's pretty easy to get to like Silva, Waynesville, I believe, is about 45 minutes away. Highlands, you're about 30 minutes from the Blue Ridge Parkway if you want to get up that way. That's a great place to see the leaves. It is about an hour and a half to get to the Tail of the Dragon if you do want to take your motorcycle there. Yeah, go during the week, though. It's also less than two hours to get to the Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge area. Yeah, Dollywood, things like that. Also, Franklin does put on a lot of neat events in their downtown area. They have one of those cute, quaint little downtowns. And if you're there in October, be sure to check out the Pumpkin Festival. And most importantly, go to the Pumpkin Roll. That's fun. <laughs> go, go, Pumpkin, go! go, go. Come on, people! <laughs> Yeah, come on! That's great! Oh, uh, it's gonna get some speed. It's gonna be good! It's gonna be good. Go right, go right! Is it going? Yeah! <laughs> 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 Another RV park that our viewers mentioned to us is a place called Rose Creek. This place was something that actually caught my eye a while back because they have covered wagons that you can also stay in if you don't have your own RV or you want to try something different. Let us know if you've stayed there.
Another park that we've stayed in and shared with you guys and is a really nice one is called Tucka CGRV Park. And it is really super easy access right off of Highway 74, which is the Great Smoky Mountains Expressway. We have a, jay, a, a jaybird, blue jay, that is just... Shut up! It's mating season. <laughs> it's mating season for the blue jays. Come on, ladies, come check it out. Don't I sound ah, nice? Ah, ah. I'm badass. Oh gosh, okay, focus. Okay. It's an easy in and out of this campground as well. So there's no steep climbing or anything like that. It's also right alongside the Tuckasegee River, but because it is right off of 74, you do get some of that traffic noise as well. So just know that ahead of time. Didn't bother us at all though. No, not a bit. Because, like you said, it is so central to everything, it's really, really close to Cherokee. If you want to go up to that area where there's also a Harris Casino, lots of cool Indian stuff up there. Also, it's only like 20 minutes to Bryson City. Waynesville isn't too far away either. I think about 35 minutes. Asheville is only an hour from the Tuckasegee RV Park. Gatlinburg is about an hour, 15 minutes or so from Tuckasegee. So it is a great centralized location to get to a lot of different places. And the Blue Ridge Parkway is not very far away from there either. Mm -hmm. And also speaking of seeing leaves in a unique way, Bryson City has the Great Smoky Mountain Railroad. They do leaf peeping trips to the gorge and also to the Dillsboro area. That's a really neat way to take your whole family to see a bunch of leaves. We should go do that. We should. Also, downtown Bryson City is another one of those cute little mountain towns with lots of restaurants. I think it's got three breweries, so it's really neat. Little river right there through town. It's awesome. We mentioned that the Tuckasegee RV Park is only about an hour from Asheville. Speaking of Asheville, you probably saw some of our recent videos where we were in Mama Gertie's campground or Mama Gertie's hideaway campground, mm -hmm. and that one was one of those tough to get into camp campgrounds. <laughs> If you need me to get out. I don't. I'm just getting, getting nice and wide here. Oh, son of a gun. You got that. We don't want to do that because we, we drag. Yeah, but how steep is this going to be? Nine degrees. 10 degrees. 11 degrees. Shut your face. <laughs> Shut up. Back to 10. Yeah, getting in there is a 19% grade. We kind of measured it going in there. Hey, somebody asked recently how you knew what the percentage of the grade was that we were going up. It was in the truck, right? Yeah, well, grade is rise over run versus a percentage. So I just took the percentage and converted it to grade. But it was well worth it for the views. Can you Absolutely. imagine what it looks like with the leaves changing? Oh, man. Wow because their top tier up there looks right off of the mountain. A lot of their sites have private decks with swings and it's just amazing. We do have several videos where we show different parts of Mama Gertie's hideaway. So we will link those below, but we had a fantastic time there because the location is excellent. It's in Swannanoa, which is just east of Asheville. So you've got all the conveniences of Asheville, but then you've got the Blue Ridge Parkway that was, I think, seven miles yeah, away. Yeah, it's real close. Yeah, and then you've got Black Mountain, which is right down the road. There's so much right there that it's a great, great spot to go to. Yeah, and if you go into Asheville, there's lots to do there, like you said, but there's also, they have a trolley tour that we took. That's really interesting. So if you want to learn a little about the Asheville area and its history, that's a great way to get around. And you mentioned breweries before. Lots. Asheville is famous for all their breweries. <laughs> And Retro Arcade. Oh, the Retro Arcade. <laughs> Mama Gertie's is technically not in the Smoky Mountains. It <laughs> is in the Blue Ridge Mountains, mm -hmm. so it's still fabulous, and the views are just incredible in that area. Yeah, there's no line where like the leaves stop changing in the Blue Ridge. Yeah. 
Speaking of the Blue Ridge Mountains, the next campground, we haven't shared a video with you guys yet of our experience at this place. So we're gonna just give you a few little tidbits of how much fun we had here. Sneak peek. But we went to the Pinola in Newland, North Carolina, and that is about an hour and 15 minutes north east of Asheville yet. So this is like right in the heart of the Blue Ridge and I loved it there. Yeah, it was really nice. That location is spectacular because the Blue Ridge Parkway is right there, but then you've got Grandfather Mountain. You've got Linville Falls. Gosh, we went on a fabulous motorcycle ride oh, while yeah, we were there. The Blue Ridge Parkway is just awesome. It's a great way to go sightseeing and not have to deal with a bunch of crowds. And that's where you're probably gonna get to see some beautiful fall colors, leaf peeping at its finest if you take a drive up the Blue Ridge Parkway. Just fantastic. When we rode over the Blue Ridge, it was late summer and it was still green, but the vastness of the views, it just, I, I yeah, wanna go that, back there. It's amazing yeah. with the leaves changing. Yeah, it was fantastic. We can't wait to share more details about this place with you coming up. So subscribe so you don't miss that video. Hey, that's a great idea. <laughs> also in that area we went to see Blowing Rock which is another cool little town and believe it or not has a Blowing Rock you can yeah. see also. That was also really cool. It's also really close to Banner Elk. If you go to the Blowing Rock... Um, a little park. Yeah. yeah. If you go there, the views that you can see from there, I can imagine spectacular leaf peeping from that angle as well. And by the way, if you're like me and if you think a Blowing Rock is going to be some kind of like geyser, it's not. It's just, just a rock. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it right there. Yeah. I don't know why it's called Blowing Rock though. I thought it would be like a, uh, almost like an Old Faithful no, blowing he something. Didn't, he, didn't, he didn't read it. The Pinola is not just an RV park, but actually it is a big lodge and mm. hotel or motel. And they also have cabins that you can rent. So this is a really cool area if you like to ski. And if they get enough snow in the wintertime, that's a skiing destination as well. Mm -hmm. And they have a bar. That town of Newland, a lot like Franklin, have a lot of fall festivals and things going on in October. So be sure to check their websites and things. We'll have links down below, but look for those because those are always fun. Another park to mention that is in the Asheville area, it is not a campground where you can take your own RVs and tents, but it is a place that you can camp in an RV. Uh, it is Junebug Retro Resort. We recently showed you that place in, an, in a video that we did. Who is it? Tis I. Oh. You're gonna love it in here. <laughs> oh, stop, this is my favorite. <laughs> I told, oh, I told yes. everybody you are gonna like that. And it's all retro remodeled RVs that you can spend the night in. And the whole complex that they have, I think it's 50 acres or something, is beautiful. And they've now opened it to the public during the week when they don't have private events. So check their website if you feel like going there and getting a beer and hanging out. And mm -hmm. I think they have um, pizzas now and things like that. Mm -hmm. Also, if it's available, be sure to go up and see their tree house. That thing is really cool. If you're following along geographically, you might know that we've spent a lot of time in North Carolina. We've also spent a little bit of time in Tennessee, and one of the parks we really loved there was a state park called Panther Creek. Now, technically, I think this is in the foothills of the Smoky Mountains, but it was a gorgeous state park. It had large sites. It had some sites had full hookups, not many, but there were a handful, but we had partial hookups in a very large site. What I thought was neat was the amount of bike trails that they had at this oh, place yeah. and hiking trails. And it was just a really, really beautiful area. Some other parks that we have not personally stayed at, but that seem to get very high recommendations all the time online, and were also recommended by our viewers in a recent poll, and that is Anchor Down is one of them we hear about all the time. That's another park that's in the foothills of the Smokies in, I think, Dandridge, I believe that's how you say mm -hmm. it. And yeah, this place looks fantastic as well. I do believe it's quite popular. It might be difficult to get into. Let us know if you've stayed there and if it is worth it. Another 
place that we have been recommended by our viewers is Little Arrow Outdoor Resort. This is in Townsend, Tennessee, and I think that's kind of where Cades Cove is, right? Yeah, if you go to that area, definitely go see Cades Cove. I went there as a kid growing up with my parents, and it's just a really neat experience. Me cheating mom. Squirt guy. Yeah, doggone it, stop it. Go in the evening when you can see a lot of the wildlife. It will be more crowded then, but that's the best time to see wildlife there. Yeah, speaking of wildlife, we have also been told that there is a KOA in the Cherokee area in North Carolina that our viewers have recommended. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna be pretty close to the, I'm gonna mess it up, Oconalufte? Oconalufte. Oconalufte. That's how I say it. It's visitor wrong. Center, which is the <laughs> visitor center to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. But right there, guys, is this giant field where in the evenings the elk like to come out and graze and socialize with each other. Mm -hmm. and maybe mate i don't know but, <laughs> didn't catch any of that on camera but no no i did catch this one shot of the aftermath of mating we've not been to the cherokee koa but we are going to be visiting your parents soon so maybe we could take a drive through some of these places mm -hmm. yeah if we're in an area we'd like to drive through other rv parks just to see what they're like even if we're not staying there we did that when we stayed at the pinola so you'll have to wait for that video to come out and we'll show you some other parks that we went to I start to dream, I start to dream about the road. I want to see, I want to see how far it goes. Oh, 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 are you dreaming too? Because maybe we are closer than we think. I am starting to believe. If you're interested in more detail on any of these parks that we've been to, we'll have links down below to our own videos. Also, that poll we did recently to our viewers where they had a lot of great recommendations in that area, we'll link directly to that also. Speaking of wild animals, here's Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> if you're but, not familiar with our channel, this is our mascot, Daisy. Yes, yeah, she is the star of the show. Anyhow, if you guys have some recommendations for your favorite places to go camping to see the fall color changes, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe.